Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Counter-Strike editing tutorial and in this one I'm moving on to one of the more main things and that is syncing your shots to music. Um, so timing uh, when a, when someone shoots a gun to the beat of a song or something like that. And it's really simple to do and it makes a huge difference in your films. It makes them really cool and um, you know you can also speed up shots just before the person dies to make um, make them look like better shots, things like that, and I'll show you some examples and um, some before and afters just so you can see how much of a difference it makes. So um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so now that you've seen those, um, let's jump right into it. We'll just open Sony Vegas, which is what I'll be using. And I just use Vegas 9 64-bit. Oh, my phone. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> um, sorry. Alright, so now we'll import a clip. Uh, I'll use um, one of the clips in the examples I showed you which is um that 3k deagle on nuke and that is here and just because I know how to sync it and give me a sec to just import the song and oh god okay um give me a sec to import the song <laughs> okay so once you've got your song in that you want uh, you want to find the main sync points so the places that you want your action to happen whether it be an effect or a gunshot or whatever so pretty much just listen to the song in Vegas and you can um, kinda see where the big beats are gonna be by these um, marks the waveform goes up a bit and when you find your beats press M to make an orange flag so um, say if the beat was here which there is one there um, go to that frame press M and this orange marker or this orange flag will pop up. Okay, there's the first one. Now we just need to find the third one, which is there. Okay, so now that we've got our three markers, there's three shots, so I'll now show you how to uh, sync the audio. Um, you want to detach your audio from your video by pressing U, and just move your audio out of the way for now, because we don't want to cut that up yet. Um, okay, so here we go. Now, you just pretty much want to line your first shot up, so right as you see the death notice appear, so right there, and as you can see it takes um, a while and the second shot actually goes off about where the third beat is, or a bit after it, but we can um, speed this up quite a bit. So right click on your footage, go insert remove envelope and click velocity. Now you want to double click on your first marker. Now I'll explain all these um, where you double click and everything in a second, and then you want to double click again on your second marker and then drag this up but as you can see it's still not sped up enough um, for it to be fast enough so keep dragging this point closer and keep your um, time indicator on the second beat so you know when it's sped up enough and right there you can see he got shot and yeah right there so now double click on your second marker again and then you want to double click right after it and then right click on that fourth one and go set to normal velocity. So now I'll quickly explain what this just did. Um, the screen bar is pretty much your time, like how fast or how slow your clip is, so you can speed it up and slow it down through this. Uh, this first marker here is where it first goes from normal speed and speeds up. So this is pretty much the um, break between the normal speed and the 300% speed, which is the second marker. So the closer these two markers are together, the faster it's going to reach that maximum speed. So you can um, make it really gradual or you can make it pretty much instant. It depends. Then what the third marker is, is it retains the constant speed. So between these two is constant 300% speed, which is three times normal speed. So you can make that as long as you want or you can, or you don't have to have this third marker at all. You can just drag that back down if you want it to only peak really fast for a bit and then gradually go back down. But um, for this effect, we need it uh, full speed constantly. And then this uh, fourth marker here 
brings the speed back to normal because we don't want it to keep going fast when you get shot because you won't see it. Alright, so now we want to create a fifth marker and that is so we can um, speed it up or slow it down again for this last one. But as you can see, um, he dies before the third beat goes off. So we want to slow this one down. So what you can do is slow the fourth point down so it goes even slower after that second guy gets shot. So um, it's uh, about 30% speed so um, it goes really slow when you get shot and then we want to speed it back up for the third marker. So we'll make another point about halfway or so and that's just so it's slow for a while and then double click on the third beat and drag this one up. And whereabouts? so it gets shot right there. Alright, now I'll create another marker again and reduce this to normal speed. Or you can make it a bit slower, so about 80%. So now I'll quickly explain this once more. So it's normal speed up until the first beat when the first guy gets shot. Then it uh, speeds up straight away to 300% speed. So he quickly runs around the corner, shoots the second guy, it slows down to about 24% uh, speed. Uh, and shoots the second guy, it stays slow motion for this amount of time and then gradually speeds back up to 183% while he shoots the third guy and slows down to 80% and then stays 80% so um, if we quickly play that back you can see it's there you might want to slow this last one down quite a bit more as well because it's kind of the main shot, it's on the main beat so maybe 30% Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Okay, now we want to bring back our audio layer and resync our shot sounds because they've kind of, if we just dragged it back onto there now, obviously they wouldn't be in the same spot. So um, you just want to split out the bullet shot and nothing else. So there's one there, which is the first one. So just land that one there, and you'll need to create another layer so they don't overlap. And you probably can't hear because I got headphones on, but um. These last two gunshot sounds are too close together and they happen right after each other so we'll just have to use this one um, shot sound for now. So duplicate it by holding control and dragging and duplicate it again. Now if you don't want these to sound exactly the same what you can do is um, slow them down a bit. So if you hold control on your keyboard and go to the end of one of your audio clips you'll see this uh, squiggly line appear under the arrow. And then all you need to do is click and drag while holding control and that'll slow the clip down but right now it's not going to sound too good and to fix this right click go properties and uh, lock to stretch and if you can't see that make sure the method is set to classic now if we listen to that it's a slowed down shot and you can also um, say speed up the first one very slightly just so they all sound a bit different and that just adds a bit of variation into the gunshot noises and um, makes it sound like you haven't just used the same shot over and over again now once you set up your velocity, you can't shorten the clip by just dragging it. Because if you look, all the points move over. And that doesn't happen if you shorten it, but only if you try and move the left hand side over. So you'll just have to split and um, fade back in like that. But yeah. Also you can't really split halfway through, otherwise it's going to make it out of time slightly. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's how you sync um, gunshot noises or shots to music. So I hope that helped, and um, there's no point in me showing you the rendered version because that's pretty much exactly what you saw at the start of the video. So yeah, I hope that helped anyone wondering, and if it did, subscribe, rate, comment, add me on Steam, whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.